Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use the Auctionity Club and more specifically the Auctioneer part of the club. So we'll start on the, the home page of the club and then we're just going to go into the Auctioneer section and select all auctions. Here you can see all the auctions for which you can apply as an auctioneer. You can filter the assets by category and sort them by columns too. So let's say I want to become an auctioneer for this one. If I click on it, a window will open showing me the details of this asset, such as its price and when the auction is set to end. To apply as an auctioneer, I need to put in some DRT power. Here I'm gonna put in 50 DRT, then click on apply for this auction. You obviously need to have DRT on your wallet in order to be able to do that. I then get a confirmation message telling me that my application has been taken into account, so that's great. And if no one else applies or has applied to become an auctioneer for this asset, I will automatically become the auctioneer. So on second thoughts, this asset is really cool and I want to be on the safe side and make sure I have put in enough DRT power so that no one will top up my bid. So I'm just gonna click on edit my bid again. This time I'm putting in 100 DRT, then I click on update your bid. I can also cancel my bid if I decide that I don't want to be an auctioneer for this asset anymore. Now that I have applied, I'm just gonna go into my applications. I can filter them by auctions for which I am the auctioneer which means I have won the bid with my DRT and I am officially the auctioneer. Here I have the option to prepare for my upcoming livestream. I can also filter by auctions for which I have already been an auctioneer. These are the past auctions I have already animated and that have ended. If I click on see my earnings, it allows me to see what I have earned from the community reward. It details how the community reward was split between participants and how much I got for being the auctioneer. The pending application filter shows me my current applications, where the auctioneer has not been designated yet. I can edit my bid or put in more DRT power if I want. If I go to rejected applications, I will see the auctions for which my bid got topped up by someone else and for which I wasn't designated auctioneer. Now if I go back to all auctions and the application column, the auctions for which I have applied will show up with a colored circle. The color of the circle depends on the status of my application, on whether if I have already been designated or if the application is still pending. So now I am in the auctioneer section and looking at my applications. I'm just gonna click on prepare your live. I can now fill in all the information I find relevant about this kitty and what I find important in order to sell it. So first I'm just gonna put in a small description of the kitty. Then I'm going to put in my estimation in Ether for this kitty. So how much do I think it's worth and how, for how much do I think it's, it can go. The next section is reserved for your presentation video. So you can just take any video you want. Uh, something that maybe something that presents uh, the crypto kitties or something that introduces you as an auctioneer. Any video that you want. So just copy and paste on a URL and you'll be fine. Just click on save. The last section is set for your video integration. The, so the video that you're going to broadcast live for your auction. Uh, to do that, you need to go to YouTube and the Creator Studio. Then make sure that you're in the live stream section of the page. You can see that for now you're offline. Make sure the privacy settings is set to public. 
Then go to advanced settings and make sure that you have enabled embedding. So here just click on allow embedding and make sure it's ticked. In order to be able to do that, you need to have a valid AdSense account from Google. You will see the status of the broadcast change at the top of your page. So going from starting to live. So now that we're live, let's just scroll down the page, go into the share section. Here you'll find a link, just copy it and then paste it into your web browser. Then underneath your video, click the share button and copy the link. And then paste the link you just copied from YouTube. Finally, click on go live and that's it, you will be live. It is now up to you to sell this asset for the best price possible. So good luck and thanks for watching!